All right, guys, this is a very important video. I want to talk about the absolute most important thing you can do to prevent cancer. Fasting. Fasting is hands down the most important thing to do if you want to prevent cancer. And if you have cancer, you need to be doing fasting. Cancer is the second leading cause of death. So this is the protocol that I would recommend for someone that is interested in preventing cancer. Let's say, for example, your family has cancer or your health is poor, or you just want to prevent cancer and you want to do something about it. I would recommend start on OMED immediately. That means one meal a day. Okay. So you're only going to eat one meal a day. In fact, I recommend most people do OMAD. Um, it's extremely easy to do. It's, you're going to save a lot of money, but it's very, very powerful to improve your health, which I'm going to get to in a minute. So I would do OMAD on a regular basis. Yeah. And I recommend you do 48 hour fast weekly. Now, this is really good to do if you have extra weight to lose to one and a half teaspoons of sea salt every single day. Very important. B vitamins and trace minerals. So I put a link down below if you want more data on that. But that protocol would be very, very important. If you want to take it to the next level and really help your immune system, every month you would do a seven-day fast. Now, you might be freaked out to do that. Well, fast as long as you can. Maybe it's going to be three days, maybe four days, and maybe you have to build up to a seven-day fast. But if you did that, you would put yourself in really good shape to prevent cancer. So what I'm talking about is regular intermittent fasting and periodic prolonged fasting. One video I did on a gentleman that had cancer, stage four cancer, okay? He did some serious fasting and he was expected to die within a month. It's been two years. He's doing great. His doctor can't find any cancer. He did a lot of fasting. He did more intense fasting than what I'm talking about. But what I'm talking about is how to prevent cancer. Okay. So I'm not primarily talking about people who already have cancer. All right. Let's talk about why fasting would help prevent cancer. First off, it will help stop mTOR. Okay. What is mTOR? mTOR is something in your body that allows things to grow. Okay. It creates an anabolic effect. So when you fast, you turn off that effect. So you can actually greatly inhibit the growth of anything in your body. Okay, it also decreases IGF, which is another growth factor. So you're shutting down mTOR and IGF. So that right there is a powerful effect on cancer. Number two, Autophagy. Autophagy is a condition where your body is recycling the old damaged junk, okay? Let's say your mitochondria are damaged or you have dead red blood cells. Your body is going to actually clean all that up. And since cancer originates with damaged mitochondria, if you can clean that up, there's not enough damaged mitochondria to turn into cancer, which then these cancer cells become immortal, which kind of sucks because your cells have a time limit, but cancer cells can live forever. All right, number three, you actually generate brand new stem cells for your immune system. You're actually building a new immune system. And guess what? Your immune system not only fights pathogens, it kills cancer. It kills cancer cells on a regular basis. So if you have a powerful, strong immune system, you are very protected. Number four, fasting drops inflammation. What you have to realize is that when you have a metastasis or a spreading of cancer, guess where it spreads into? Areas of inflammation. Interesting. Even areas of old injury. So by doing fasting, you just drop inflammation. All right, number five. And this pretty much pertains to someone that has cancer and is on chemotherapy. Let's say they decided to do chemotherapy or radiation therapy. Fasting increases resistance for your normal cells when they're exposed to chemotherapy and radiation. Incredible. But the cancer cells don't get that resistance. 
they're more sensitized to chemotherapy and radiation therapy. Interesting. All right, so what if you already have cancer, okay? I'm not going to do a whole video on that, but I, I want to give you some tips on some natural things that I would recommend. And my disclaimer is I'm not telling you this is going to cure anything. Check with your doctor before taking anything, okay? Alpha lipoic acid, 0.4 to 0.8 grams per day. You start off small amounts and you gradually increase over two to three weeks. Okay, next remedy would be Garcinia. Another name for Garcinia is hydroxycitrate. Between 1.2 to 3 grams. Start off with 1.2, gradually increase to 3 grams over two to three weeks. This is per day. Next remedy is red algae, okay? Eight grams per day. Next remedy is black seed oil. You can get in 500 milligrams twice a day. Consume a lot of garlic. If you can't eat garlic, take them in tablets. A lot of garlic is very, very important. Next remedy is green tea. You can also get this as a supplement or consume it through the day. And lastly, you want to consume a lot of cruciferous vegetables. The broccoli sprouts would be very, very important uh, as well because there's a very small amount of those broccoli sprouts equal a tremendous amount of adult broccoli. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?